Hey guys, uh, this is Lazy Boarding and welcome to today's video guys. Today I want to talk to you guys about the best assault rifle for endgame and in all the game in general. I tested every single assault rifle and I came to the conclusion that the best assault rifle is the SSGP58. If you want to find out why this is the best one, then you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for the video. If you find these videos helpful and informative, make sure you guys drop a like and drop a comment. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel and turn on all the notifications so you guys won't miss when our Far Cry 6 videos come out. Or when you, any first person shooters, loot and shooters, or battle royale games are coming out, we're going to have you guys completely covered. So the SSGP58, guys, I'm going to give you two ways of actually obtaining this weapon. And one is the easy way, which is you can get the unique rifle to kind of get an experience of how the weapon feels. And the second way, of course, is going to be the more lucrative way so you can get that level 4 one where you're going to be able to mod it out and kit it out to your heart's content. I put this weapon to the test on the most difficult content in the game, which is the Special Operations Level 3. And I'm telling you guys now, this weapon wrecked. You land headshots, boom, they're melted. They don't even have a chance. You knock them down really fast, as you guys are seeing in the clip. One by one, they fall. They cannot handle the SSGP 58. So there are currently a total of three weapons that are contenders for best weapon in the game. We have the ARC, which is a really, really good weapon. Fires 900 rounds per minute. We have the other one that everybody loves, the SKS. And I'll have a different video on this because if you see the damage on this, it is extremely, extremely crazy, which is a 50 round magnet per round. And then you have this one, guys, with a 750 RPM round with 40 mags as opposed to 30. So let me tell you guys the reason why this weapon is better than those two. Number one is the R A ARC, as you guys notice right there. We have a 30 round magazine, which is um, not bad, but it's really good for SMG. Not so good for an AR because it doesn't let you hit multiple targets. You could probably get like two to three targets and then you have to reload. With the other one, with those 10 additional bullets, you could actually get two more additional targets. We're giving you like a total of five. Now this one right here, the SKS, it's a beautiful weapon, does a lot of damage. I'll have a separate video just going specifically over this weapon, but the reload animation takes forever, guys. It just takes forever. By the time it's done reloading, I already killed like five more people with the SSG P58. Now, let's talk about the stuff I have here, and then we'll tell you guys exactly what you need to do to make this weapon and where you can obtain it. So, first and foremost, on the attachment, I got the armor piercing rounds, basically best rounds overall in the game. Then we have the muscle socket. We have the large uh, rectangular suppressor, which is the level four. This is pretty much going to reduce the weapon noise. So that's really good, keeping off, off the uh, marker. And the reason mostly we're getting this is because of that slow overheat. So it's really important. Next, guys, guys, we have the Resolver Reflex Sight MK2. This one's going to be personal preference. I, act, I actually like this one. It gives you a nice peripheral of, overview over in general, and it doesn't zoom you in quite that much. Next, guys, we cannot, we're not running any socket here. You could theoretically run one here. There's just a side, uh, you know, side scope if you guys want to run that. And last but not least, we got the pointer socket, which is going to greatly reduce the bullet spread when firing from the hips. It's going to keep that spread really nice and tight to make sure you hit those shots. For our mods, guys, we're running Trigger Discipline. Improve aim weapon damage. So when you're aiming the weapon, you're going to be getting a little bit more weapon damage. Then we have the Vampiric Traidor, which has a chance of healing when you do damage. Overall, in general, this weapon is amazing. And the last time you guys asked me to show you guys all the weapon skins for this gun, you can know exactly what they look like. We have the Slate. We have the Safety Yellow. We have the Ranger Paint. We have the Army Kai. And then we have this one right here, which is the Baby Blue. The Bonavive Camo. We have the Tech Shack, which is my personal favorite. And then we have the High Five. Now, speaking of High Five, guys, this is the way you're going to be able to get one of the weapons. In order to get the unique variant of this weapon, you're going to have to go ahead and get the High Five. The High Five is actually easily to be obtained. The High Five can be obtained over at the Novent Tramas region, guys. It's going to be located in a little blue shack. I'm going to show you guys the exact location here on the map so you guys know exactly where you go. It's going to be located in El Rancho Bicho. And in the Sancho Beach, there's going to be a blue little shack right next with a pickup truck. What you're going to want to do is you're going to walk into the uh, into the house. And once you walk into the house, you're going to see a crate that you're going to be able to open up. Open up and you'll get the high five. Really easy to obtain and one that I recommend you guys test out and run it as quickly as you possibly can. Let's talk about the one you actually really, really want to get. That is the one that you're going to be able to mod and make it look spicy and nice. And that is by upgrading your garrison, guys. You're going to want to make sure you upgrade your garrison all the way up to level 3. Once you get it up to level 3, it's going to give you an option to purchase this beautiful weapon, the SS, um, the SSGP-58. By far the best assault rifle in the game. Highly recommend you guys pick it up, put it together. I'm going to let a little bit of the rest of the gameplay play out so you can see how much damage this weapon is doing, how effective it is, 
And if you guys don't have any in your arsenal, definitely add it to your arsenal right now. I hope you guys are enjoying our Far Cry coverage. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all those notifications so you guys won't miss Far Cry coverage, first-person shooter game coverage, and Battle Royale, and of course, loot and shooters. Keep it locked in this channel. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'll find her. Suerte. Lola, I think I just found Lieutenant Campos. She's got to have the key to the cooler. I'll ask her nicely for it. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Found it. the weapon and heading back to you now. Shit, you are good, Guerrilla. Keep up with the pool in the shade or with water. I have a skate. Grab me something from the gift shop. Ah, you don't want that. Everything's covered in blood. See what they get. I think I lost them. Oh, my God. 